expound on some of the points that the gentlelady from Texas made, um, Ms. Jackson Lee, in regards to the tremendous progress that has been made on uh, strengthening uh, the border. She touched on the doubling of the number of Border Patrol agents. from 10,000 to 20,000, 21,000 agents in just the past year. That's a doubling uh, since 2004 uh, of resources. And this is tremendous in that it actually is the largest per year uh, enforcement of any other federal law enforcement combined. Uh, it's $17.6 billion uh, worth of enforcement on our border. And so progress has been made. And the deportations uh, signify that. Uh, many of, half of these deportations have been uh, to individuals who uh, committed crimes, uh, uh, illegal crimes, and were deported for that reason. But let me also uh, touch on another element which the gentlelady also uh, discussed, and that is immigration and the him history of immigration policy in our country has always focused on the family and keeping the family together and reuniting family members. And so we have to be careful when we talk about deportation, what that means for individuals, uh, because this is a human rights issue. In my district, in Congressional District 4, uh, I, I met with a group of citizens uh, on Sunday before the President came, and there was one family there who explained to me a situation where uh, the, the family members, the mother, had been deported, and the children now are in foster care. They cannot uh, be reunited with their family because of the status issues, and that is something that is having a human toil because we have a broken immigration system that must be fixed. And that has always been a cornerstone of our immigration policy in this country, has been the focus on keeping our families together, not just on labor or economic issues, which should be uh, at the forefront as well. And so enforcement uh, has been a big cornerstone and should be a major cornerstone of this policy going forward, uh, but the pathway to citizenship is the co cornerstone, and I believe the Congressional Black Caucus, as a stakeholder in this, con this discussion, uh, working with our colleagues on the other side and in the other chamber, uh, must articulate why there cannot be a precondition of uh, a litmus test on border security in order to provide for a pathway to citizenship that so many individuals depend on. Let me also discuss uh, one other element of a comprehensive immigration reform that is necessary, and it's important to uh, my district and Congressional District 4, and that's the focus on enhancing travel and tourism. The administration under President Obama is committed to increasing U.S. travel and tourism by facilitating legitimate travel while maintaining our nation's security. Consistent with the President's executive order on travel and tourism, the President's proposal securely streamlines visa and foreign visitor processing. It also strengthens law enforcement cooperation while maintaining the program's robust counterterrorism and criminal information sharing initiatives. It facilitates more efficient travel by allowing greater flexibility to designate, designate countries for participation in the visa waiver program, which allows citizens of designated countries to visit the United States without obtaining a visa. And finally, it permits the State Department to waive interview requirements for certain very low-risk visa applicants, permitting resources to be focused on higher-risk applicants and creates a pilot for premium visa processing. So these are all of the components uh, that have to be part of the comprehensive immigration reform. These are the, the, the tenets by which the Congressional Black Caucus, working with the uh, Congressional Hispanic Caucus and the Asian Pacific Caucus, 
uh, believe are the cornerstones and the principles that any comprehensive immigration bill should be passed.